Slavs make games. We continue with Godot Platformer in a part 2 with uh, main menu making. Now we need to work a little bit with uh, style. So we start to styling menu. For this we need fonts. As you know from free previous lecture, lecture, we have installed fonts and now we will add uh, one uh, label as a child, child node to control node and uh, we can start um, preparing our buttons uh, for uh, font. Uh, we will uh, put scale uh, back to 1-1 one, one. and uh, to all of uh, our menu parts so one label which can be used for um, game title and two buttons uh, can be used uh, for the same as we defined before so to start game and to quit game we will uh, try to make a um, team for all of it uh, the main thing for uh, theme creation is font so when you select theme under the control menu click on the new team and you will see uh, how new team uh, will look on a different uh, part of your control for uh, our uh, example we will uh, start uh, editing our team to implement it on uh, label and uh, buttons first we will select default font uh, it's important to know that um, you must use dynamic font so and when you uh, start with the creation of a new dynamic font just open your file folder with the fonts and inside font folder select uh, one of your uh, font remember you need to select ttf so selection of the font don't select predefined um, fonts for godot and after that you can work on settings uh, this will be your uh, creativity part uh, to select size uh, outline size colors of outline extra spacing bet uh, between uh, characters or uh, spacing uh, uh, between um, words in our case we will select uh, three for character spacing one for a space between words and uh, this is the uh, only thing uh, important uh, for now for our theme why we create a new team uh, we create it because uh, this can be implemented on the all of our uh, control parts so on um, buttons labels and whatever you include inside your main menu uh, just select your team team must be saved so after um, creating team you need to save it and then you can select select um, a theme um, for uh, every of uh, your segment Uh, your team will be part of uh, resource so you can use it on um, any of your uh, newly created scene or you can create another theme uh, with another font another settings um, size outline uh, etc etc 
this is uh, one uh, way of course with using teams you can um, simply define all of your um, elements uh, manually one by one uh, then as you know they can be uh, different uh, with size colors and other styling options with the theme you have a unique um, look in every element so if you want unique unique look of your elements uh, use uh, this if you have any issues uh, with um, buttons uh, size or uh, font size when you use these fonts save team save scene and just reopen it uh, and all of issues uh, can be solved in our uh, situation everything uh, is looking fine for now so for a simple uh, creation of menu uh, default font is okay but if you want to style your uh, main menu use uh, fonts uh, with uh, from our example as we download it for asset library or you can uh, put uh, your uh, font uh, into the folder of uh, your game which are created in the beginning now we will add uh, one other button this button can be for um, some data about playing we can call it how to play a game and uh, we can also give some name to our game some simple name like default game name or jumping G or, or whatever and this will be uh, this will be um, good implementation of, of team after that uh, you can work on um, some background for your menu default background is um, default color for your scene but uh, you can um, add uh, some other child node to to create um, background color for example there are uh, many uh, ways for doing this but I think the color the rectangular is the simplest one and you can use this uh, all other combination like uh, polygon 2d is also okay you need to know the, that you need to configure that because uh, polygon is uh, tool uh, uh, with um, nodes also but this is graphic nodes so need uh, you need to, to, to design it to put it inside space because we have a grid uh, selected and snap on this uh, can be easy in our situation to put it as you see the polygon is, uh, uh, can be uh, in different shapes it's important to, to know that um, you can um, change the position of your node uh, to polygon um, B, uh, B below, below buttons you can also use um, other uh, options uh, like panel uh, 
panel is uh, default for um, background in uh, control node uh, all of uh, said is um, also uh, possible to implement uh, with a panel uh, remember you need to, 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 to put panel on the first place uh, or uh, in a place where you want to other elements be seen uh, on screen panel have uh, standard uh, uh, properties inside the uh, inspector window also you can find a few uh, properties uh, which are only possible uh, with the panel you can change uh, his color but uh, as I said before color rectangular is um, I think uh, simplest uh, and easiest option to, 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 to put um, colored background to to our um, main menu Uh, many other um, options can be also used like uh, parts of canvas uh, parallels background which are used uh, for um, uh, for 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 main scene in a game uh, but uh, colored rectangular is the simplest uh, way to put some colored um, background to your scene and uh, in this example we will use we will use it and pick some color for for it whatever uh, you want to see just put colored rectangular on position with drag and drop technique inside your um, main control uh, tree and uh, work on um, styling custom colors can be select uh, for all of your elements separately of course uh, from a team so you can have a same team but different custom colors uh, I just want to show you in this example that this is possible if you have um, different uh, background colors in our case we have white colored um, text in buttons and uh, white colored text in um, label by the default of a theme but you can uh, custom select your color for a label to change it to suit you better in, um, in uh, this uh, example this is uh, mainly all what you want to know in this part of styling we will work on uh, styling our game menu to be better in the future of course in the um, last part of uh, tutorial when we will uh, work on um, some polishing of game as this is usually to 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 say it so some improvement of uh, main menu will be done in a future lessons for now we can see how our menu look 
styling is default for buttons action and uh, looking is a change from simple one to this uh, styled uh, menu so we change only two parameter font and color and we see that this looks good this is all uh, for um, this lesson you can work uh, on um, your other parts if you have uh, more than two buttons work on their uh, functionality as you know from previous uh, teaching you need to use signals for function to 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 create um, good code for your buttons we will open new scenes from um, first two buttons in our situation and uh, third button will be for uh, quitting the scene